Hi there. Um, so today I'm going to be doing my May, May, yes, May 2010 favorites video. Um, so let me just go ahead and get started. Um, my big favorite for May of this year has been skincare. Um, I recently have just go ahead and just bought a whole bunch of products to do skincare with. Um, I used to only use Proactive, and if you guys watch my videos, you know that I have really bad skin. Um, and lately, it I mean, it's still kind of bad, but lately it's been clearing up a lot, and I kind of... Um, attest that to the fact that I've been using more skincare products and I think eventually I'm going to do a skincare video um, to see if my skin does get a lot better because it is getting better um, but I, and I think it's going to get even better so I'm going to wait and see how my skin turns out but these are some new products that I've bought that I've been really liking this month um, I got the L'Oreal new Go 360 Clean Deep Facial Cleanser and I got the blue one which is the one for sensitive skin um, and I really, really am enjoying this. I love this little scrub thing. Even after this is all gone, I'm still going to keep this scrub because I love it. Um, I use this um, when I take my makeup off. I use my um, makeup remover, and after I get all that off, then I use this. And this just really deep cleans and makes sure I got everything off. Um, and I usually use this before I'll use some kind of exfoliator or a mask or something like this, but this just leaves my skin feeling so clean and fresh, and I absolutely um, love it to use, and I really only use this after I take my make right after I take my makeup off, I'll use this um, to really, really just get a nice deep clean on my skin, and it's so gentle, the, um, the sensitive skin formula is so gentle and lathering, and you only need the tiniest little dot on this, and um, I really am enjoying this. Um, next kind of skincare thing that I've been enjoying this month are masks. Um, I've been using a couple different ones, which I'll eventually talk about in my skincare video. Um, but this is one that I've really, really been enjoying, and this is the Murad um, Pomegranate Exfoliating Mask. I don't know about being an exfoliator, but it's really um, just refreshing and hydrating. I'm not going to talk about it too much here because I am going to be doing a review video on this. Um, I got this at Sephora. It's like a little pack of like I think six treatments, although one treatment lasts me like five treatments. Um, and this is like $25 or something at Sephora, but um, I'll do a um, better review on this in the future, but this is one mask that I've definitely been loving this month. Um, next is, I guess, kind of skincare. Um, in this summer, for my lip balm, I use the Burt's Bees um, Minty chapstick and um, I don't use it in the winter because this can dry my lips out in the winter but in the summer when I don't need as much moisturization um, I really love the minty cool refreshness of this um, so I got a new one for this summer I've been wearing it all month and I love it um, next is a concealer although it's a favorite because I'm not for concealer use, really. Um, this is the NYX Concealer in a Jar, and my color is Porcelain. And I've been using this um, as an eyeshadow base lately. Um, and I really love it. It's a great eyeshadow base. It doesn't crease at all. Um, so if you have these, and maybe you don't really like it much as a concealer, I don't like it as a concealer because it's too creamy as a concealer on me because I um, I'm kind of have oily skin and it kind of breaks up on me. But this is great on my lids as an eyeshadow base, So um, and it's pretty cheap. So um, if you have this and you don't really like it as a concealer, give it a, tr a try as, um, as an eyeshadow base because I really do like it like for that. Um... I guess my kind of eyeshadow combination favorite for the month has been, um, now I put this in my first face of the day video and I haven't done another face of the day video since, but um, I will do those I guess as I just feel them necessary. But um, this is the eyeshadow combination. I've been using um, a MAC eyeshadow and Naked Lunch all over the lid. And then in my crease, I've been using a MAC Pigment in Gold Stroke. And this is just the prettiest, just glowy, just candlelit kind of glow. It's very, very neutral. It's very light. I use it for the daytime. And I absolutely love it. And I get a lot of compliments. You like It makes my eyes look bright and like fresh or something. I don't know. I get compliments when I wear this, and it's not really that bright of a look. But if you want to see that, um, it's in my Face of the Day video, and I'll um, link it down there if you want to see how that turned out. Um, my favorite blush for this month is another glowy thing. You know, it's getting warm now, it's May, um, so I'm really into kind of glowy products. So my favorite blush for this month has been my Milani Minerals Blush in Luminous, and this is just a peachy blush with gold shimmer in it. Um, and this is a 
dupe for NARS Orgasm Blush. Now, I've never used NARS Orgasm Blush, and I don't own it. Um, I've swatched it in the stores, and it seems pretty spot-on to me. Um, and this was $6 and change from CVS, or wherever they sell Milani, I guess. Um, and this leaves the prettiest, prettiest peachy glow on my cheeks and just enough of a sheen. It's not so sparkly and ridiculous. And I have pretty bad skin, and you shouldn't use sparkly stuff in your skin if you have bad skin, but this doesn't really accentuate um, my problems too much. But my problems really aren't on the apples of my cheeks, so if you have more problems on the apples of your cheeks, maybe this isn't the product for you. But I do like it. Um... What else? Oh, I've been into whitening my teeth. Um, I do this probably once every two years. I use the Crest White Strips package. Um, and this is just the Crest White Strips Classic. I've been using this. They say to use it twice a day, but I only use it once a day because my teeth get really sensitive. Um, and yeah, I've just been doing this all month. You know, I do this every like two years and it makes my teeth nice and bright. And um, this is my Olay Quench Body Lotion, and I use the Deep Moisture Formula. This kind of tastes, um, tastes, yeah, smells like coconut. I really, really love this. Um, I don't know, I've been, like, you know, out in the sun a lot lately, so I've been moisturizing a lot. And um, I just love the shimmer, because this is like body lotion with shimmer in it, and it's really pretty, um, smells great. And this I, is really, I think, I've used a lot of different lotions. I've used a lot of lotions without any scent in them, and they're supposed to be just purely, like, moisturizing, and like, you know, medicated moisturizer. Um, and this is the most moisturizing lotion I've ever used. Every summer, whenever I get burnt or tan, I always peel, even though I lotion myself, like, three times a day so that I won't peel. And I've only been using this, like, once or twice a day all over my body, and I've had, like, minimal peeling, and I have gotten burnt. So this is definitely the most moisturizing stuff I have been using and I completely recommend it. It's the red one, the deep moisture one. It smells like coconut. They have a whole bunch of different ones of these at the store. Um, and yeah, that's it. This is kind of just like a short, um, just monthly favorites video. I actually did buy a lot of things this month, but I bought them all towards the end of the month and I haven't um, really used them all yet, so I don't really want to say if they're favorites or not if I haven't, you know, really used them enough. And I'm going to do reviews on most of those things. So look for reviews on things that I've been hauling about lately um, in future favorite products or in reviews. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys uh, kind of got some ideas of some good things for my monthly favorites video. And uh, everybody have a good June. <laughs> Bye.